Just when life seems so hard, it's hard to care. I see your face, and suddenly the answer's there. You make it easy. Question, and then when I, when I, when I, when I, I was already atheist. 
Okay, Baba is there, and Baba, Baba, Baba. Then Baba is teaching, my God, what is Baba is teaching? Hindu must become better Hindu. I said, oh my God. Hindu must go back to the pagan religion. Then they begin to study the religion. They realize, my God, Hindu is the science, pure science. Hindu tap into the science about it. And every Hindu God form is holding in his hands. I think what's the word of the religion? The in ancient Hindu rishis, I call them spiritual scientists, the scientists of the past, they understood the time, though the only Sanskrit was broken everywhere, I think. Then after the ice and in the mountains, you know, they realized the time will come when the world will be like a Tower of Babel. You know the Tower of Babel? You know the Tower of Babel? You know the Tower of Babel? Oh my God, you are a Christian country, you don't know all this. One fundamental thing is not only about your religion, learn about Christianity also. Tower of Babel was, was the, in the Bible you see the story of this huge uh, multi-story building they built, you know. Huge building they built. All under one language. One day suddenly, they realized that every floor all speaking different languages. So Tower of Babel, you know what the word babble, don't babble, you know, you, have to, uh, you know when they say, use the word don't babble, I mean, don't talk nonsense. Suddenly they realize the whole tower, the tower of Babel, that means everybody don't understand what the other is saying. Every floor, no one knew what the other is saying, because they were speaking different languages. So like that, they were doing this. The Hindu spiritual scientists knew, time will come, the world will be like that, that tower of Babel. So which language should God speak to you? Speak to you. If you, have, you go to temple, which is something the gods are speaking in the temple. Which language? Tamil, Hindi, Malayali, Telugu, Marathi, Bali, Indonesia, Bali, Hindu speaking Bali, Hindu Indonesian language. Which language you teach you? So what they did, what the spiritual scientists did? They created the science of symbolism. So Hindu temple, Someday, one day, some monk came and told me, you know, the Hindu is not terrible. Right? So, you know, you go to a church, after prayers, the priest will tell you the Bible, teaching the Bible. Go to a mosque, Ustas will explain to you what's in the mosque, what's in the, in the Quran. Go to a Buddhist temple, they will tell you. Hindu is the only place you go there, the great Kumbhra, put flower, all the Kumbhra, all the Kumbhra, then you give you Kalanji, go home. What is teaching is happening? That's why you're wrong. Dear my sisters, in the Hindu temple, the devas are speaking to us. Ganapati is speaking to me. Murgan is speaking to me. Amman is speaking to me. Durga is speaking to me. But they're speaking to us the language of symbols. Symbol. Why do you use symbols? Symbol transcend the barrier of language. And today, after thousands of years, modern man is learning this. You go on the road. You see a sign like this. What does it mean? You don't use the sign here. Previous lovers castle. Huh? Previous speed lovers castle. Ah, then here, no, no. But let's see. You see a sign like this. What is this? Huh? Yeah, Open door. You are using different signs as the world. <laughs> A circle and a cross the cross no entry. No entry. No entry. You don't have cars. Oh, you got a license just for paying, paying for the license. Without <laughs> passing the exam. It happens in Malaysia also. I'm glad it happens here. And this sign here again. Again, again, this sign. What is this? What is this? 100 kilometers. Ah. That's wrong way. What? Open. I can see all of you bought the lines. Wrong way. And the symbol like this. What is it? Huh? That is in crossing, yeah. What about it? Today, modern man is learning the symbol. But why do they take it? Why don't they put there 
no entry, no parking. Why? This is putting this kind of ridiculous thing. Why they put your name in your bag? Why? Why? Huh? Yes, because you can understand, but how do you understand this? Huh? The Chinese will understand. So you go around the world, everywhere in the world, the same simple is used. Russia, China, Japan, USA, all same symbols. Why? Because symbols transcend the barrier of language. Ancient spiritual science is this. So they use symbols to convey messages. So the God in the Hindu, Hindu God form in temples. Why am I telling you? You must be leaders of something, I have to say. These leaders are inside the movement, what are they? Small little group, that's all you Whole world is there. A Swami to be asking us to guide them. As, you know what? What this the, every temple symbol in the God form is like the icon of the computer. You look at the icon of the computer. What is the no one understands what it is. You know all the symbols in the computer. You know the, the icon, icons, right? Icon of the computer. Nothing it tells you. For once you know how to click, boom, opens up the whole universe of knowledge is there. One click is there. That is what the Hebrew temple is. Every God form is speaking to us. But we need to click that button to understand how to click the button and know that then the information is going to You must know this. Because your children will ask you only these questions. So, first leadership starts at home. The first leadership, lead yourself. I was an atheist for many 32 years. Why? Because I want to understand and explain to you how to work. Today I go around the world explaining this. The huge science, the fantastic science. You see, it's like this, you know, how the science of symbolism has, has evolved over time. See the power of symbolism, I tell you. Those hotels, you know, hotels. Eh? Those days when you go, girls, can you see this? Girls, sit yourself, you can see this day. Hotels normally you go, there will be two rooms, you know, quite close to each other. One room will say, ladies, toilet. The other one will say, gentlemen, toilet. Is it not? Hello. But as man became more sophisticated, the thought came to him, and uh, the word toilet hmm, doesn't sound so nice. Okay? So what they did, they removed the word toilet and put there, ladies, gents. But you only want it's not a meeting place for ladies and gents, okay? Conference <laughs> room for ladies and gents. No, no, not that, okay? So you know it is ladies and gents, okay? Then they thought, as man became more sophisticated, they began to take away the words and use symbols. So then all you have in one day, you have one man and one man standing there and a symbol of a lady standing there. Isn't it? You know what this, okay? Not a meeting place. Okay? As it became more sophisticated,
Now, supposing somebody, forget about a six-year-old, seven-year-old child. Supposing somebody asks you, young adult, leaders of the world, IT, doctor, lawyer, engineer, hey, you are, you are doctor. You don't know. Wow, that is smart. This, uh, you play Jalison. Yes, play Jalison. Then you play the rat. You kill the rat and play the rat or something. Okay, no matter, you do something for something like that. But what, what is the lesson, what is the teaching of Ganapati? What is the teaching? I'm asking all of you, this is the question. What is the teaching of Ganapati?
So here we are now, the Bhagavad Gita translated into, into 45 languages. You know, what the Hindus do? How many of you have the Bhagavad Gita in your house? How many Bhagavad Gita in your house? Mostly 99% of Hindus have Bhagavad Gita. What the Hindus do? They take the Bhagavad Gita, they put on the altar. Every morning they will come to the altar in the house and they will touch the Bhagavad Gita. Or more advanced Hindus will come and take uh, some flowers or oh, oh, right, some of Islam and put them in Bhagavad Gita. Or the still more advanced Hindus will take the Bhagavad Gita and knock on the head. <laughs> Thinking that by knocking osmosis transmission or what it means. That would have not give a book, you know. Krishna gave a fantastic, profound and relevant till today. That's why they translated the 45 languages. What are the guys who don't know about this? Hindus. <coughs> so, basically I'm telling you now, the leadership starts there. You must become the leader for your own children. Unless you want to, dis to let the entire 5,000 years disappear. The Buddhists convey the teachings to the Buddha. They know about the Triple Jam, the Middle Path. Christians, even, even the non Christian, non Christian teaching more than don't believe. So, this is the first challenge. To lead your family, the value. It's all these things about values. If you know all these teachings, you need not have any, but they all teach you class alone, you all teach you about that. So, this is the first point I want to bring to you. How we lead ourselves, lead our children on the path of our own tradition and culture. Yesterday I showed you what Swami said. I have taken upon myself the responsibility to convey the teachings of Hinduism because adults have betrayed the Swami said this. Yesterday I showed this to the Bhagavad Gita. So I decided not to apply to do that. Swami, you don't accuse me anymore. I was the atheist because the one person. Now I go around the world explaining whatever I can. I'm trying to train other youngsters to know this. But take care. It's quite a Hinduism notion. So, having said these general words, let me share with you what Swami has said about okay, leadership. Side gems are what makes a good leader. Swami has talked a lot about leadership. You know, see the word. Hello. Okay. I'm just going to give you a first quotation of Swami. It's all you can read yourself. I'm not really quoting it because I'm sure you have not come across. What does Sai say about joining the Sai organization? Right? Yes. Right? All of you, please read together. One, two, three. Make. Thank you. 
function. Yeah, you know, uh, my center, uh, the other is not coming and joining. Uh. So for function leader, you must motivate them. Not command them, you know. Don't command people. Don't command res don't demand respect. Command respect. By your knowledge, by your energy, by your vision. You must want to follow you. Want to listen to you. Not because they power you, it's because they see you as a force that's worthwhile of respecting. That is commanding respect. Demanding respect is what many people do this inside me. I see this. Hey, I'm chairman. Huh? I tell you where to work. Okay. I'm service coordinator. I'm youth leader. Follow. Do not, I won't give you any position. So our job is not to command, not to demand respect. Command respect. People must want to follow you. Why? Because they love you. Because you something that they want to be with you. They want to share. They want you to lead them. Go. So the very idea you must keep in mind when you start a Brahma's organization is do not pray for status or authority or position. Do not allow any pomp or show. Do not compete for publicity or for recognition or for you know, on two occasions in the two occasions in my life, I resigned from the higher position in the organization. I resigned as a member of the World Organization, I resigned as a World Youth Coordinator. I said, I don't need a position in the world. I said, I don't need a position in the world. 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 The badge of leadership is not the position you hold, but the energy and love you have to emanate to feel wonderful. Leave kindly light and I will follow you. All the time you present my sins. You know, a funny story I did. You know, the first Soviet government, we were, for the, I think after that they stopped it, okay? First Soviet government, they brought all the Indian youth and the uh, and the uh, foreign youth into the Pune Chandra Hall. Do you This year, you know, that's Indian So, they are doing it there. Then, what happened was, so we were speaking, myself, Suresh, and there were also Indian speakers. But you see, the Indian speakers are very knowledgeable, and we can't touch the knowledge they have. They don't know the data, they can go transcript. But their presentation skill, you know, is, is not. They, they just go on, we were on stage, you know, we started cracking blows, singing songs, and laughing, laughing away like crazy, okay? Baba comes to the back and goes to go to the curtain, and someone told the data, Baba, hey, Tamash, 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 what's happening? You know, he has it, okay? So we have, this is power you all must learn, and you learn how to convey very complex things in a very nice, nice manner, and nice, in a humorous manner, in a loving manner, so that people enjoy listening, okay? I hope I'm doing that, okay? So I'm not too sure, I'll okay, yeah. So, what happened is, so for the first world you we were really standing up for and laughing and then when we started leaving the place, uh, the, the, some of the Indian people, Indian youth, you know, start following us. So we were like, I'm going to join you, I'm going to join you, I'm going to join you. So I was like, I'm going to join you, I'm going to join you, I'm going to join you. So what happened, I was supposed to join you, I was supposed to I think that's a great demand. Tell you what I'm doing. Now watch this heretic thing I'm saying, okay, but you can see that. So it's already the record of the system, and it in the organization happens. And so it's what we do. Let us find a piece of land between Puttapati and Bangalore. So where are they? We start with JJ Ashram. <laughs> what do you want to follow me? Then I said, I can already remember, I can imagine the first speech I'm going to Dear brothers and sisters, for thousands of years, Hindus have been saying, Jai Jai, I've come. That's not a country, you have been in country. And there one youth comes to me, young adult, and says, I want to go to the Bajaga. Oh, you're so happy to meet you. I haven't met you after before, after the college class. And I said, yeah. Oh, you know something, brother, because of you, we got so many interviews. The youth is from Telugu youth, from 
But then we have the other effect. I call it the volcano and the lava effect. The lava has been affected from the lava explosion of activity and lava pours forth. And it removes a lot of things that were there, it removes negative things, it removes all the boulders, everything. And then the lava, that's on this lava, new growth comes, life growth. So we have the lava effect. Neither should be like that. You're born, you come out, you remove all kinds of nonsense around you, okay? Lethargy, this, that, all sort of red tape, you know, and complex things, how you do things, you just simple thing, life simply make it more complex. Nowadays people focus more on reports rather than activity. Then you, because of you, how much growth comes in your activity, that is the idea. The lava effect. Dear friends, there are what I call life leaders and dead leaders. Dead leader is not a zombie who died, but a living fellow, but a zombie. You know, not a lot of movies about zombies, you know. If you look at that, you can see some of your leaders there. Not here, but other countries. <laughs> What's a life leader? See if you can be a life leader. Life leader and Sai, I call this. L. A life leader must have the L of life is love and love. You must be very loving. At the same time, you must be able to make people motivate people to follow the discipline. You can't have just love and people doing here while. So love and law, and these words love and law Baba used to describe how parents should treat, treat children. Baba said, nowadays children, parents are, are, are spoiling children, but just giving love to one third and discipline. Baba said, love and law must come together. Love must be there, discipline must be there. And force with love. So really what is, likewise high leaders, corporate leaders, any leader. Okay, number one, the first the life leader, love and law. Second, you must have ideals and you must be able to inspire others. You must have some ideal in your life that you want everyone to follow. And you must be able to inspire others. The third, L, I, life, friendship and fearlessness. You must be a friend to everyone. People should not be scared to go to a leader. To a leader. But not people. Leader, someone will come and you must feel friendship, you must feel friendship to it. You friend to it and you must be fearless in what you do. Hey, how to do. How to do it. Not enough manpower, not enough money, so much difficult. I tell people in Malaysia, you know, yeah, yesterday I showed you how the things were in North Korea and all kinds of massive stuff. You know. I tell people, hey, don't tell me one hundred reasons why you can't do anything. Tell me one reason how to test it. Only question is, the cost noble motive pure, that's it, finish. Many people can give thousand reasons why it's difficult to do it. How to do this, no manpower, no money, no this, no that. You don't need that. I don't need people like that around me to tell me all Every idiot can come from the street and tell me why you can't do it. But tell me one reason why we can do it, how we can do it. Let's make it happen. That's a reason. Able to inspire others and fearless. So a lot of others around will show you fear. Lead them on fears. And find energy and enthusiasm. You must have the energy to get up and do. And, and, you, and your enthusiasm must infect others. Now, for some not enthusiastic. Ah, ah, why? You infect others. You are like a candle, you know. Like, tuck, 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 tuck. It must burn. Don't burn them out, but then burn. So, lead them on you to infect others with the enthusiasm, with the energy. That's a life leader. Tell you about your question now. Ask yourself. Don't point finger. Am I a life leader? Am I a life leader? That's your life leader. A life leader is one like Superman, okay? Love, inspiration, integrity, friendship, fearless, and enthusiasm. This is a Sai life leader. So, get a man. Take a check. <laughs> So the S is not Superman. Sai. So here we have a summary. Ask yourself where you come into this. Are you the most impact person? After you become leader, everybody dies. All activity goes. Lava, explosion, activity, move negativity, and oh, new life comes. Or life leader. 
lessons, and I'm giving you lessons the entire thing, science and English. It's not the only stuff, man. This is what I try to do in my life, man. To make all what I do. All spiritual leaders must be Sai like leaders. What is Sai like leaders? Service, selfless service, I think I know that service. Adoration. You must adore God. More important, let people adore you. You must adore you. They will only follow you if they adore you. If they fear you, who will follow? Many leaders in the world, they operate by fear and control. They are afraid to delegate, okay? The others may do better. Delegate! Your challenge is to make somebody support you do better than you. Then you are succeeding. One classic leader in Malaysia was also Suresh. When I was early, the first Suresh came in, I used to do all the drama, write the script, and I was like, I was like, so busy doing so many things. Once Suresh came, I saw his dad, in the other side of the village. So I gave, I gave chance then to. Our leadership is to give chance to others to flourish, do better, better. If someone does better than you, that is your credit. But many people are scared to give you, you know, I will do better than you. That's not a good leader. And Atma and Atma oneness, that's a good issue. Finally, illumination. I to I. But from the small I, ego, we are, we become someone now. The people who see a reflection of divinity. That's our job. Sai leaders have one extra qualification. Other than all what I told you. Believe 100%. Sai is there, you have an instrument. Cause is noble and beautiful. You must believe that you are an instrument. Remember to be the Caesars? Hello? Many of you were not here to hear the Caesar story. <laughs> Baba once said, Please remember this. He said, People think of it, that Baba can do la. You know what people do? What you do? Do you not, do you not, do you not be young man and senior people do that. Brother, who do you think you are? Baba is there, he will do. What do you do? He will do. How? Oh, come to the country and go to the city and do. Baba, what a nonsense kind of thing. Baba himself said this. That all these epics of the thing Baba has said inspired me. One devotee from Mumbai went to Puttapati and told Swami in interview, Swami, I am doing work in Mumbai. Swami, can I do work in Puttapati? And Baba said, Hey, Bangalore, whose work do you think you are doing in Mumbai? You are doing Swami's work. And then he said, Hello. You are one arm of the scissors. I am the other. I am, sorry, I am one arm of the scissors. You are the other. I need you. I need you to cut the cloth of Dharma Samstavana. For the very purpose of his avatar group is Dharma Samstavana. I need you to cut the cloth of Dharma Samstavana. Without you, I cannot cut. Without you, I cannot cut. What a confession of the avatar. Same confession that Rama would have made to Anuman. Anuman, I am one arm of the scissors, you are the other. Without you I cannot cut. And he could not achieve his mission with Anuman. Same thing he told the Pandavas. Krishna told the Pandavas. Without you I cannot fulfill my destiny. Same thing Jesus <coughs> told his disciples. But today, Jesus has 11 disciples in heaven's sake. So I mean, thousands. Multiple like help that the movie is Jesus kind of. Edward Caesar's hand. Edward hand. So many Caesar's Baba has got But, or many Caesar's are used Caesar's. Today they wrote this. This is the challenge. When I say Caesar's, I don't mean God. I mean God. That's what I mean in Malaysia. Yes, again, I told you, I'm sharing. Very good. See the sun. That's what a leader, leader is. Okay. The sun, for all this magnificent power, we are approaching the disintegrated. 
cannot light ignite a piece of paper on the ground. The sun cannot ignite a piece of leaf on the ground, the dry leaf. The sun cannot ignite a piece of paper on the ground. For the sun to ignite the paper, it needs what? Magnifying glass. Or water shimmering in a branch that focuses into a focal point energy and burns. All the power the sun can do, you need to magnify it. Like what you wrote is, sun is, Baba is like the sun. His rays are coming out to us, he's given the nine board of conduct, service, higher sadhana, love God, fear, sin, morality in society, help ever, hurt never, love all, serve all, serve the nation, welfare, blah, blah, blah. But he can't do anything unless he has the magnifying glass of leaders who can translate all these teachings into energy on the ground that gives warmth and light. That is what every leader should be. the magnifying glass, translating all these teachings into energy on the ground. I'm trying to give you the vision that you must have. Without this vision, without this thing, what I want to be, then I think I can achieve. Service of need, from the many of all the teachings, Become service and need. Come unity of faiths, elevation of values, EHV, whatever. Today afternoon we shall talk about how we can translate all this. You can have a chance to discuss among yourselves and give some ideas. How we can translate all this, how we can become magnifying glass. Fire, warmth and light, creating love, energy and love. Leaders must focus the pervasive race of Sai, love. It ignite love and action in the ground. That same message must go to every other leader in Sai Sai Center around the world. So, Radhi is telling us every center must be like a Ladu. You know, Baba is seeing Baba throwing Ladu, you know? Maybe you have seen Baba throwing Ladu. Maybe you have seen Ladu from Baba. You throw it now. Because if you have Ladu, you get catch a Ladu. Others far away, it goes on in the bucket. Other is blessed by love. So every center, I tell you what you do, you youth, you know, in center, whichever center you are, you must become the, you must make your center a laddu. What does the laddu do? Every center offer a laddu. Love, number one, help. Love for all. And most of the love must start within your center itself. Everybody must be loving. The center must be like a, like a, like a family. If you come, you are eager to come, you know. Hey, how are you? I'm like a man not coming out here. Only my name. I love you, you love me. <laughs> Leader must be like a sun's ray touching everybody. Whatever negative others want to say, you all, you should not be affected. Number two, activity. Benefit for <coughs> Create active center must benefit people. Now, what are you, what are you existing for? See, Baba didn't create a group of black and white ministers singing songs. Number three, devotion. Devotion to his message. Devotion to the form every evening. Devotion to his message. That's what he wants. Beauty. It means love. Without a sense of it. Just love. Do things because you love, not because you've got a position to do in all not. Can you make some fellows I tell you? When they give a position, Sai is the chairman or Sai Center, or the office para, Sai is oh, very active. The moment they, they finish their position, ah, okay? Let's see if you win. I tell people, in Malaysia, everybody is one thing, in America, everybody knows. So I'm a very friendly fellow, I can be fire also. I tell them, hey, listen, anybody who steps down, don't step out. Step down and continue to serve. If you step down and then relax and say, okay, well, let's see, then that means you're already working for the position, not for someone. Step down, never step out. Billy Fong, example. You know Billy Fong? Oh, nice. He was president of the council. Now he's, 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 he's then before he got his uh, Zoro thing, he was vice president for what? For the Chinese affairs. He took the vice president position. Suresh, just step down and was president of the council. Now he's doing the education part of it, whatever it is. But he reached by charisma. You know, but charisma carries him. 
Billy Fong. You know Billy Fong has been a producer. This is Malaysia, he just he doesn't know a particular person. He does all kinds of work. Every leader in Malaysia inside the organization dare not step out. Step down, never step out. If you get some other position, let me your president champion is a position for life.
The science of leadership is this. Every leader, all you need to do is to have a circle of contact. You are the leader. You have a circle of contact. You may have one, two, three, four, five, six people who are directly in contact with you. It's called a circle of contact. Circle of contact. And these people must love you and prepare to move. You need not love, you need not get thousands of us to be with you. And then, every person here in the same hand create another five. Another five. <coughs> another five. Then your circle of influence becomes multiple circle of contact. This is a circle. Circle of influence. And then it becomes multiple circle. That is your power. You need not have, know everybody. Impossible. But the circle of contact you have of people who are fired by your enthusiasm, the candy you have written in their hearts, then let these five fellows contact, these five people contact other five, another five, another five. So, and then these fellows contact another five. That is a circle of influence. That is why we are able to do all these massive things in Malaysia. ABC project, you now we brought on crime, the, 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 the North Korean adventure. So many other stories I have told you. How can we do this? You five, six years. But the, the circle of influence was, was, was fantastic. The, the five fellows were able to ignite the others, ignite the others. So remember, ask yourself, what is your circle of contact? People who will die for you. Forget dying for you, I live for you. <laughs> live for the five vision. And then, from that circle of contact, you tell them, hey guy, you get five others with you. You get five others with you. You get five others with you. The circle of influence become ugly. This is leadership. Any even organization also. You take what in any organization. Circle of contact, circle of influence. This is what we must try to achieve. So then you can do anything, you know. So dear devotees, every one of you can make a center and love you. Understand, I'm putting this word so that you can remember this. This simple thing that motivates you. Know, how can I how can I love all of us? What about the guy who says bad about me? Not the fellow, kill him and without me. The best way to actually kill the fellow who's talking bad about you is to love the black star. He's a useless fellow. Let him get accidentally you telling someone, nice chair. Why is it so bad in telling a nice chair? Oh, he can't sleep for 10 days. If you attack the fellow back, he's like, yeah, he's deserving, you know. Really, I told you, I'm fantastic. But if the lady, despite the fact you tell something bad about her, she goes around telling good about you. That's why I cannot sleep, man. <laughs> Best way to make you go to hell is my way over Then you then it's what you change. You will change. Now, now all of you, how to you retain your youth? Don't forget, as you guys know, all aging was already. How can you retain your youth? Some people I find, you know, within by the time they're 35, 40, they're already old. How to retain your youth? And the dynamics of Swami did answer. How to be young? Many people wonder they look so young at the age of 73. Wow, remember they said, I know 72. The reason is that I have three P's in me. Purity, patience, perseverance. Because of these three, I shall remain like this for any number of years. So everybody should cultivate this thing. So remember now how to remain man. Not to make up all you can literally cover the old. But then cover this guy is the old. Or you can remain man. Serve, serve, serve with love. You know the Baba says here. Oh, let me share with you. What do you think that you know? <laughs>
mean settle in Sweden, doesn't mean just within your Indian thing. Several contact with five Indians. Several Indians with hundreds of others. Dining Bring into your circle of contact others also. People looking at this session will think I'm addressing the Indian and Indian embassy people. Take this and take it in the embassy, then some of some foreign guests are here. I'm not sure. Exactly, right. Hey brother, your challenge is to get about half of the Chinese next time.
there are a whole bunch of dead leaves. Dead leaves. Who are the dead leaders?
Now government service is not about clocking at 8 o'clock, before 8 o'clock not clocking. Then the thing is there, and black. If you clock at 8.01, it becomes red. So you allow three times a month for the red for the thing to come. After three times, you know you are red. Now explain huh, why you went there. So there's one fellow here as the other one in my division is. This is like he'll come before 8 o'clock. For 10, 5, 5 minutes they'll come. He'll clock in. They'll go and get the car and go off. <laughs> so one day somebody told me, I'm from brother, I don't know, I observed what they're doing. So they called me. Hi, my friend. You think you're stupid, huh? You come and clock and you're going off, okay? You betrayed me, you know, I teach you to get that, you betrayed me. So from now on, my friend, I'm putting on the leash. I want to know everything. I want you to give me three days work of work for you, my brother. I want you to, if you're not in the room, I must know where you are. If you're in the toilet, I must know where you are. My secretary must know. I'm not going to report you to management because it's a big offense what you did. Okay? I'm not going to report you to management. Then you're in trouble. I'm just dealing with you now. Okay? So don't let me report to management. Okay? I want you now to tighten your head. Then I gave him a tongue lashing head, you know. Get things together, okay? Then I went off from here, I was in the room, I went off. Then about 20 minutes later I came back to the room. He looked at me and I was nervous. Put my arms around him. Hey, how's your family? How's your children okay? Hey, eh? eh, good children. Everything happy. What I did? I showed him. I was not angry with him. I was only upset with what he's done. Still his friend. Absolutely. Not with him. Very important thing still there. So he all, then he began, you won't believe this guy, he got his he got act together. And the next year, he won, he won the Excellence Award. Every year he gives staff Excellence Awards. He won staff Awards. So like that, you know, it is our challenge to transform you. Anger doesn't mean, how do you motivate him to be better? Okay. And then, third D, devious. Very devious. He is connived now. Connives to get people against each other. You get one click here, and you got him there. Yeah. Now he divides the rule. He told you now, now you are my friend, I told you back. Now you are my friend also, but you are against each other. You know? So this is the deadly lesson. People who demand respect. People who demand respect. Demand respect. Life leaders are those who command respect. By their presence, by their attitude. So this is the essence of the leadership thing on the share. Okay? You know? There are books and books and books about leadership. But I'm telling you, I've never read any books again okay, on leadership. But then how now can even now the same principle now? which I use in office, I use in the side environment. No difference. The no only difference is that the guys in office get paid to do what they do. The side side body is get paid by Swami. To the same effect. Swami handles that part. So this effort is this simple presentation which I will give. What's our time schedule now?
at least some little part of it to some mission, some little part, some bit more. Then you say, I am married. Now suddenly you find married, I can't get married. I said, I have four children, four kids. I have kept on plunging my kids. What I do when I am with my kids, now I make sure they know I love them. I pour my love to them. I used to go, what I used to do? Now? How do you relate to children? Teenage, small, coming up. Three, four, five, six, seven. And that's how you deal with the, with the, with the other youth. I began to be passionate about what they interest are. So my children, I'll go, I'll, go, I'll tell them, you know, this, that those days, these cartoons come out on TV, you know. You know what He-Man, you know. Lord of the Universe. Have you seen the He-Man one? He-Man, you know, you know, He-Man, and what, uh, uh, some funny ones, I don't remember. So my kids like to watch that. So I come back about 5.30 something, I come back about 5.30 something. Hey, don't sit on the TV, Papa wants to watch us all, okay? They're sitting in front of me, Papa, no, no, don't sit on, Papa wants to watch. Papa is going to come on, wait, wait, I'm coming and don't sit on. Then Papa, if you're not coming on, the tea is already there. Yes, sir. So I sit on the then I, I know all the, I all the He-Man stories, you know, all kinds of nonsense, because what uh, cartoons I used to watch us all. Why? What can I talk now about? I can't explain to sit and listen to Vedanta with me. So as they grew, you know, I, I began to be interested in the songs they sing. All these pop songs, you know, you know so I don't know all, all these pop songs. Then these uh, modern songs, you know. Today I tell you the challenge because the modern songs you don't understand a word what the guys are saying. <laughs> <laughs> but some of the youngsters understand, okay? Those days, I was busy time, you know, no, no, Cliff Richard time, you know. Can't you see I love you? Please don't break my heart. Well, you know, or the modern, the, the, the Tango songs, you know, sir, you know. Uh-uh. That's okay, you know. Again, in the white is color, color, white is black is black, white is white, female heart is very black, white is color, 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 color. That's a good song. It's a nonsensical song. You know what I mean? Someone captured the You know, this song became a world mega hit. You know, you heard this. Chinese people are singing this, Malay singing in China, Japan. Somehow it kept it had a particular beat, I think, whatever it is. Then the only thing that overcame and wiped Palladri Omishi out of the chart is what? Gangnam Style. <laughs> Gangnam Style came and still later, it, it became a mass mega hit by itself. You know. So the Palladri thing came back. But many of the songs, you know, that, that you know, that, uh, that, uh, What's the song we are singing to your, your mother? Huh? What? Ah, what is confidence? No man, what is confidence? I mean, what, uh, 
Krishna, then you know, the miraculous incident where he comes is because of the death. How, you know, my wife, my late wife passed away in November, and I delivered this, I had to deliver two things, and ah, what I'm telling is this, because sometimes we all think youth, you know, because now you're doing all the seva and things, you know. You think, you know, ah, oh, now nothing, suddenly tragedy happens to you. You lose your job, or somebody you love passed away, or some you fall ill. I'm doing all this work in our can I have why that you mean? I'm doing seva, I'm doing singing songs, you know. I said, dead body. What do you ask it will? What do you mean by happening to you? Are you greater than devotee than Christ? Christ was crucified on a cross, I mean saying. Are you greater devotee than Buddha? You know how Buddha died? Ah, he was poisoned. There's a debate between whether he was deliberately poisoned or accidentally ate some wrong food. Look at every great saint, Mahatma Gandhi. Short. Every great religious spiritual leader went to him. If you look at the South Indian saints, you know, look at, I, told, I showed you all yesterday, for the, for the disciples of Jesus. Every disciple was crucified, cut, whipped. What happened to you? You think so? You don't think you were suffering? Suffering will be there. Then why should I pray to God? Hey God, if you can't stop my suffering, why should I pray to you? It gives us the courage and the strength to overcome it. Everybody is. When my, when my late wife passed away, I was really shattered, you know. This is the one, one few months before the world, first world in conference. And I was shattered. Yet, at the, at the height of my incredible tragedy, one uncle came to me. Jaga, he said, he said, give me some quotation from Krishna. And he said, I read about him, and he said, whatever happens in the world to you. And Krishna, he told the story of Krishna. Arjuna, once, went to Krishna and asked Krishna, Krishna, Give me something, some mantra that the height of my tragedy, my sorrow in life, I can use it to overcome it. Uh, Krishna said, okay, I give He wrote a piece of cloth or paper and said, keep this. Don't open it. The height of your tragedy, then open it. What happened? That's what Mahabharata. Abhimanyu. Did Abhimanyu? Who was Abhimanyu? Abhimanyu. Huh? Abhimanyu. Okay. Abhimanyu, you know the story of the, the, the Padma Vayu, okay, the fact that he was caught in the trap. And you know how, it's a long story, but I'm going to do a long story. Read it about it. Uh, and then uh, he was killed. And Arjuna was taught it, his only son, and he was, Krishna, Krishna, how can you could have stopped that? And you knew this would have happen. Krishna kept away, you know, but then he kept away. Then uh, he was very distraught. How to overcome that incredible pain he was feeling, you know? Then he took this piece of paper to Krishna and gave it. And looked at it. And those were the years. These words I remember. The words were this also will pass. That's it. This also will pass. Those are the words that then Krishna. I and mean, I looked at it till you the height of my own church. I said, what nonsense is in God? How can I overcome this? The healthiest person was my wife. And then yes, I she, she passed away, it's an aneurysm. How can this be? How can I get over this? Yet it passed. Likewise, happiness also will pass. So Baba says, happiness interval between two sorrows. Sorrows interval between two happiness. And if during that sorrow period you do the stupid thing and commit suicide, you are dead. Because don't say you are dead You do something ridiculous, you die. And then you. Come again and suffer more. You suffer more. Death is not, coming is not a release. It is a torture chamber that you put yourself into. So, everybody, this is what we can, we must try to understand. So, anyway, the world is going to well, and, and for me, the greatest challenge was to hold on to them and, and make it a success. I was telling them, I was telling them yesterday, I was telling you about the incident of the Bhagavad When I left Potapati in November, I'm flying, can you imagine, I'm leaving Potapati, I land there, my wife is dead. And between that time, I'm going to go to the mind, I said, my past away that day. Yet I left Potapati with two fantastic restaurants for this now. In November, I left, November 25th, I think I left. So I had given me two massive assignments to launch the first ever Chinese New Year conference in Potapati. And the first in February, and the first ever World Youth Conference in July. 
No other, no other world religion in India has given two such responsibilities. The world is the twin such responsibility to cover two massive demands. How about you get this world together? November, end of November, December, January, that's it, two months. Get a land in Malaysia with the greatest tragedy in my life, my wife also. And I realize now that for me to organize the Chinese New Year, I have to get support from Hong Kong, Japan, all these guys, you know, all those who celebrate the moon festival, okay? To come in for support. I'm wondering how am I going to get to Singapore, I need the Chinese from Singapore, Chinese Indonesia to come in. How do I get them to come and discuss the massive program for the first time ever? Everybody's. Then what happened is I landed there, wife was dead, cried and cried like two days. And then they took the body to the crematorium. And as I'm coming from the crematorium to my house, I realized one thing that all the people I needed for the Chinese New Year had come. Look at the love for Sadiwati. They flew in from Japan, flew in from Hong Kong, flew in from Singapore. Flew from Indonesia just to comfort me. Incredible love. I think that all these guys I need are here now. For the, so that, that we came back home at a bar. Then I told everyone, all of you leaders come and meet me at the, at the dining room table. We're going to discuss the first Chinese New Year program. They were stunned. Jaga, how are you going to discuss Chinese Don't, don't, please don't. Please don't, Jaga. That's when I, I said these words on the table. It seared my mind still today. I said, hey, I said, I'm crying, crying, you know, I was crying all the time. Father has let the son down, but the son will never let the father down. Sit. So everyone was sitting down, and then everybody is crying, you know, all the papers were so. And they were, then they saw Hong Kong, you do this. Japan, you, to, you do this. And Singapore, do this. So all the assignments given, then I said, now let me leave me alone for, 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 for a few months, for, I'm for a prayer period. Over. Then I came back after one month, and I Massive Then I had to work on the on the Berlin conference. Again, I had to bring it to work. I mean, it the in sleep day and night. I had no time to, to solve. Then the Chinese world, world, world conference went well. Incredible. The last day, world conference, there was a huge drama festival, something on the stage. Uh, and then I'm sitting there watching. Drama is over, everybody applauding, Swami got up, Arati, Swami is walking off. I am sitting down there in the chair, nothing happening. And suddenly I burst out crying. I cried and cried, I am howling and crying like a madman. And I am wondering, Jaga, what are you crying for? I said, I, I didn't know why I am crying. People came around me, I said, what's up, what's up, what's up, I, I just couldn't, I, I, I don't know why I am crying. Later I realized, but all that pent up, I kept the pent up thing feeling inside. I must deliver Swami's program. Then I released it. The entire water, water fall was inside me. So what I'm trying to say to is, understand this. Tragedy will happen. Sickness will happen. Job opportunity will happen. Everything will happen. Don't worry. Everything will pass. Don't let go. Don't let go. Tell you what it is. If you say, Swami, I'm surrendering to your lotus feet. The most dangerous thing to say, Swami, is what now? Swami, let me hold on to the lotus feet. <laughs> dangerous. Why? Holding on? Are you sure you're holding on? Yes, Swami. Okay, come. He's walking. What will you be holding on? He's dragging along. He'll take you through bushes. He'll take you through bramble bushes, thorn bushes. He'll take you to a rock, cut you, pain you. Then he'll take you suddenly through nice soft snow. He'll take you through nice soft pepper, period of flowers and the rain. Hurting you? No, you can let go. See? You let go. Then you want to learn it. But you want to hang out on your feet. Understand this. Happiness and sorrow, everything you have to understand. I'm waiting up to come. That is too funny. I'm already in my relation talking bad about you, Swami. If I don't go now, then talk worse about you. You know, so I uh, go out to okay, go then. Go and finish and come back. Finish and come back. So immediately the others all got to get the arranged for transportation, this and that, go to the airport, you know, go to Malaysia, just in time for the funeral. And then the devotees, I told Suresh, you know, the elder, his elder son, you know, Suresh, don't tell your mother 
that you want to come to Buddha Mandir. Don't do that. Mother will be angry. Tell your mother what Swami said. Let mother decide. Tell your mother what Swami said. We will manage the place somehow, I said. Tell your mother what Swami and then let mother decide. So after the funeral, you told your mother Swami. You know what mother told you? Suresh, go. Swami is expecting you. Go and Wow, this is like Deva time. Divine mother. She did the other son to be beside her not to comfort her, but he said, go. She thought it's good. Suresh came. And the drama was. So this is the devotee. Can you imagine having the mother? Why did I tell you this? My wife passed away when I was in Puttaputti. Then, a few years later, I was in Puttaputti. And I am invited by the, by the, to speak at the, you know, the foreigners, Tana Plana for session. Actually, that time I was not scheduled to speak by the organization. The foreigners all got together and told only they want to get to speak. So, 10 to 11 was the, was the normal speak. Then, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, I was speaking. So, I went there and I spoke, you know, to the everybody. Then, I, then next day I am leaving. Afternoon. Then they said, Vega, can you continue one session next day? So I said, okay. So I go. So I go next day. Next day I'm, I'm getting ready to go to the to the hall. I'm getting ready to go to the hall to speak at about 11 o'clock. I get a call. Get what is? Mother passed away. My wife passed away when I put up there. My mother passed away when I put up there. Lightning struck twice. I thought lightning never struck twice. So I go to, go to the hall there and tell them, tell you what is something strange has happened. I said, mother, I love her, I told you, mother was my partner. Yesterday I was a normal person like all of you. Today I am an orphan. My mother's pastor, just now. Oh, the crowd was tears. And I told them the challenges of life I faced when my son was there, my father, my the youngest son passed away at work on yesterday. After I finished my devotees, on Chinese gentleman from Malaysia, he came to me, he didn't say a word, he just hugs me and starts crying and crying and crying and choked my entire shirt. I don't know why he's crying. Why he didn't? But I had to go on my phone. I had to go and catch him to get to the airport. So I said, thank you. Then later I met him, you know. So actually I met him somewhere in Malaysia. So I didn't remember who he was, but he had me and I could see his face in His son had passed away in a terrible accident just recently. And his wife and he were distraught, they trying to find answers, you know, why it happened. You have to look at Vigat Jaga, you spoke and gave all the answers that Baba had not asked Baba. And Vigat became very, very close to him. So I did it with it. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this is the miracle of Swami's life. Give resilience. So these words, I've got this sign that says zero. And they don't stand up. I said, went beyond zero minus three or five.
Everyone can be a leader. We as a one, one side youth. We, have, we got to dare to be divine. And for that, we have to do what you all like to do. So we want to know today, in this coming year, what exactly the youth want. It can be anything. It can be study circle, it can be more budgets, it can be anything, any new idea, any new way of doing things. Any suggestion for us? More than welcome. Yeah, okay, we'll start the session very soon, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we need someone to coordinate it, so... <laughs> some of the things you really enjoy about youth sessions, about the youth group and what you find most valuable, what you'd like to see more of, as, as Brother Mando said. And then after just a few minutes of discussion, we'll just share the ideas with the group. Uncle Jagger will be joining us in about 10 minutes, so we don't have too long, but we'd love to hear your thoughts and we really want to provide... And we, can, we can, in fact, use those suggestions to put, put back to Uncle Jagger and say, Uncle, this is what we want to do. And how can we refine it or maybe take it to the community? That would be the next level up. So, but before even doing that, if we can... This guy. <laughs> yeah, why not? Yeah, let's do it. So, just quickly two, two three minutes, maybe just uh, you five over here. Yeah, just turn over there and just have a quick discussion. And after two minutes, just come back and tell us what you would like to see in this coming year. Priyavakya Pradhani Sarve Dushyanti Priyavakya Pradhani Sarve Tasma Tasma Tadeva Karta Yavu Tada Tasmi Karta Small, that small. 